All right, so I'm going to mix the colors now for the Alice Arum. So I'm mixing transparent yellow and then Prussian blue and a little bit of uh, raw amber. Okay, it looks more yellow on video, but uh, it's actually quite good. And uh, I get my number one brush. Uh, I'm using Winsor & Newton, uh, number one. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, what I'll do is I'll do... Uh, normally, I would make these pencil lines lighter, but uh, I can see that they're not very clear otherwise in, on video, so I'm going to leave them. And after all, this is the sketchbook, so it's all right if uh, for once there are some pencil lines uh, visible. And uh, what I do is I just uh, do a first wash. So I, I work quite dry normally, but for the first layers I use a, a wash. So I'm going to dilute this further because um, I want to make a very light wash. And the first wash is um, basically it's just all over. I'm not going to do much um, shadows or anything like that. Maybe just slightly here. Okay. And then if I see the paper is still wet, I might just add a little bit of color where I see more shadows. So around here, maybe a bit here. And if you see that it starts sort of drying, what I do is I just rinse my brush and just uh, touch it on the color like this so there is a smooth transition. These are only the first washes anyway so it doesn't really matter too much. I'm not going to do the full process here because this is just a study for the color but it's still sort of a, a similar process to what I do normally when I when I do my final painting. Maybe a little bit on top here. So you won't see my reference uh, because otherwise um, I can't really show you this properly. It has to, it would have to be too tall, and then my leaf is sort of standing up, so you wouldn't see it properly. And then I make it even uh, lighter and do a little wash on the on the stalk here okay and while I wait 
for this to dry, I could do uh, some uh, work here. My ink pen, I use a Micron. Uh, this is 0 0.3, but I use different um, uh, different thickness. And some of these I just uh, I just use my ink for parts like this, like the ovary, for example. And uh, this here, I can show you how I get to this, how I opened the flower. So I'm going to use a scalpel and always be careful when you use these. And I'm just going to open it. So it depends on the flower that you're using, of course. Just very carefully. Open it. Let's, let's see. And then you can see here you have the ovary exposed and the spadix. So, and then you can uh, have a further look at the, at the actual, shall we call it petals? <laughs> I don't know, the actual flowers. These, yeah. So, and this is basically the ovary that I drew here. So it's got this little, there you go, this little, um, the stamens and so on. And uh, I think you can just about see the, the seeds. These are going to be, these green things here, are going to be the seeds. So I'm going to do another wash. So the way I work is I do many, uh, many washes. And I start this time where I see the, the dark area, so around here. So this color is a bit watery actually. But um, that's okay. We do. And maybe I use straight this one. And uh, let's see around here. So I put down the color. Then uh, I rinse the brush lightly, not completely wash it. And then uh, sort of make the transition. So keep rinsing it when you want to have the lighter area. And then here I can see a bit of shadow. So rinse it. So every time I dip it in water, it will rinse a bit of color, a bit more color off. There's a little bit of shadow here. And then in the center, next to the main vein. Okay, so just the, the color transition smoothly from dark to light. And these are only the first uh, washes, so there's still time to make these darker. And uh, I will probably mix more color 
and make it darker. And of course, the veins have to be, um, you know, the pencil line for the veins needs to be lighter than this because otherwise you can see them still. And the way I do the veins is that I do I I show where the where the shadows are. So let's see, for example, here, and it gives you the suggestion of the of the vein. Because unless it's very white, you don't want to have this um, white lines like uh, rail tracks <laughs> on your uh, on your painting. So see there, it's darker here, so it suggests that there is a vein there. Hopefully I'm explaining this all right. This here should have been much lighter, but... I keep rinsing the brush until it's just basically only water, so you can make this transition effect. And it's the same thing for the uh, for the stalk. You sort of uh, see where the light comes from, and then you paint where the shadow is, and then uh, with a damp brush you smooth the transition. And it will probably take a few layers. But it's best to to do this in layers rather than just a very dark line that doesn't doesn't look natural. <laughs> 